this is for Gemini. I'm going to pull you guys an oracle card first, and then we'll get to the tarot. What do you want Gemini to know? I've done shuffled a bunch, so we're just going to get to it. Okay, building blocks, number 28. Number 28 is a really good number for money, too, so you're going to have prosperity, too, by the way. So let's see what it says. 28. Okay. Can you find a way to achieve fairness right now? This is a time for listening as well as speaking, for understanding as well as asking to be understood. There is much to be learned, and you will learn it if you remain open and objective, weighing options and considering all side. Your heart wants to connect to others, so allow for a balanced exchange of ideas and actions. The best kind of relationship is one in which there is mutual benefit and each party feels heard, valued, and respected. Be fair to all. Okay, so that's for some of you. If you guys are at odds with anybody, or even if you're not at odds, it's just saying, you know, be fair and balanced. Take everyone's uh, feelings into consideration. Okay, what do you want Jim and I to know about their person? How do they feel? What are some actions they might take? What energy are they in right now? What does Jim and I need to know about their person? What does Gemini need to know about their person? If you can please like, subscribe, and comment if you haven't already. You can be done with a Virgo. If not, this person's just kind of like going in right now and um, soul searching. So if they haven't been very um, communicative, it's because they're really just going within thinking a lot. Yeah, there could be some arguments. Maybe that's why that oracle card came out. So if you've kind of found yourself at odds with somebody here lately, um, just know that like it's spirit telling you guys to kind of like look at everyone's point of view so that way you can understand what they're thinking better um, and kind of go within and soul search like the hermit's doing. That's what your person's doing. Could be done with a Cancerian, but this person is going to move towards you here pretty quickly. Um, the five of wands also speaks of competition. So if this person feels like there's competition around you, they will like move towards you quickly in that sense. But this also talks about just fast forward movement. This person's waiting on you though. Okay. <laughs> this person's already planted seeds with you. It looks like, um, so they don't want to let go of you because they've already planted seeds. So if you guys aren't talking, don't be worried because they are going to come back. They're not going to let you go. I feel like they're kind of waiting for you to make a move, though. Yeah, you guys had some type of argument and you walked away from each other. So they're waiting on you to come to them. Like they're waiting on you to get in their car and drive over to them. Yeah, they're waiting on a message, too. They also feel like they're going to end up messaging you here pretty soon. Um, they've been watching you, too. See how... This person staring at that wand. If they're like on your social media or anything like that, they could even be driving by your house. Okay. Um, this person is watching you. They have eyes on you. So if you guys live in the same town, just know that they're kind of doing a little drive by the house. See if you got anybody over there. See if there's any competition around with that five of wands. Yeah. They're also trying to find out if there's any juggling going on. Like I said, this person's watching you because you guys split. Um, they're trying to find out if you got somebody else, okay? They want to get down to the bottom of it with that page of wands and that chariot. They've been driving by. I kind of feel like they're just hoping they can catch somebody over there. <laughs> That's what they're thinking. You got two eights now. Um... This person, this person could work with you. This could be like a work romance or something. And you guys split. <laughs> but it, that would make sense why this person could be watching you. But 
um, your finances are going to be really good too, but this person wants to work on this with you. Even if you guys had a split, they do want to come back around and, um, work on it with you. You guys could have been married because we have the four of wands, which talks about marriage. So you guys could have been married. If not, they would end up marrying you. Um, this also, the two of pinnacles also could represent this person doesn't want to let go of you. Because that eight, like you see how that looks like an eight, like an infinity symbol. It's like never ending. So you guys are kind of like a never ending story. Has this happened before where they leave and then they come back or you leave and you come back? I feel like you guys are kind of like a never ending story, the two of you. They are going to come back though. This person's being really slow to come back. Because the Knight of uh, Pentacles is like really slow. But they do want long-term stability with you. Whoever this person is. Could be an earth sign. Yeah, here they come. <laughs> this person's coming back. Um, so if you've walked away from them or they walked away from you, they're circling back around. They're going to communicate with you here pretty quick. Because the Eight of Wands is quick, fast communication. It's fast moving energy. So something's going to make this person speed up and come back towards you. They are going to fight for you. This person, um, I'll tell you what, it's going to make them flip their switch. Gemini, um, they have somehow, they've been watching you with that chariot and the page of wands and then the five of wands. They've somehow sniffed out that there's some kind of competition around you. So this person's going to go from the knight of pentacles being real slow moving to fast moving because they feel like they have to come back and fight for you. Because they feel like there's somebody around you. And it, this this is just for a couple of you. If there's a third party. So if you're watching this and you're married um, or whatever. This person um, does not like that you have a spouse. Like they want the spouse out of the picture. So they come up with like little creative ways to try to get you. But this person wants to fight a spouse off. And this is just for a couple of you. Okay. For others of you, this person has left or you left them and they've done stalked you and found out that they have competition. So now they're going to rush back in with this Eight of Wands and Seven of Wands and fight for you. And they're going to fight off anybody who they think is competition. This person's like not having it. You're dealing with somebody who's not going to let you go. This person's really been in their head about you. So their energy right now is like they're in their head. Um, they're kind of worried. Like I said, this person is like freaking out because they somehow think that you're talking to somebody else. They think that you're getting like messages from all these different people too. I just heard. We have three eights on the board now. So Google angel number 888. Also, your finances are going to be good um, because eights represent money, power, karma. So just know that you're going to get money. Then we have the magician. This person is manifesting you back. They're, I feel like this person's going to come up with all these little tricks to try to get you back. Like this person's freaking out for some reason, Gemini. Yeah, there's a third party here. I knew it. I could sense it. This person, whoever they are, they think you got somebody else on the side. They're freaking out. They've been driving by. Um, they're going to fight other people off of you. Uh, this person's not going to let go of you with that two of pentacles. They're going to hang on to you for dear life. And if some of you guys are like married and you're kind of messing with somebody on the side, um, this person wants them out of there. Like they're manifesting you getting rid of your spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend. Yeah, they want, if there's any third parties, they want that out of the picture. Okay. And for those of you that aren't in a third party, and you just left somebody and they came back or vice versa. This person wants to move to calmer waters with you. Like they're tired of the petty drama, the arguing. Um, they just want to come back together with you, okay? So if you want a reading on your person, just email me. It's in the description. My readings are only $17. And I do a 25 to 30 minute video. And I go into great detail on what they're thinking. Whatever it is you want to know about this person, just email me. And $17 is really cheap for a 25-30 minute video. And I'm really accurate about my readings. You can ask anybody that's gotten one. Okay, here's some other things that I'm going to pull for you guys. Uh, 
I might, I need to make a video of all the reviews I've gotten because I've done hundreds of readings and everybody's like, wow, you know, things that, you know, all I ask is for your zodiac sign. I don't ask any questions and people are like, wow, you knew things that, you know, there's no way you could have known. Okay. So I might make a video and just put it of all my reviews I've gotten not their names or anything like that god no or not any personal information just some of the sentences of like wow you know i can't believe you knew that stuff like that i would never release people's information okay let's see and i leave my videos up unlisted so it's like a private video so if you want to watch it like a hundred times, you can. Or if you want to come back a year later and watch this video, you can. It's not, it's like I never delete them. So I don't love them like I love you. I need you back. Okay. So for some of you, this person left you and they are kicking themselves in their ass. Because they've realized you're the love of their life. This person's going to come back to you. 1111, I am your twin flame. So, if some of you have been thinking that about this person, there's your confirmation. Angels are working to bring us together. So, if you had like a fight with somebody, just know that like your angels are working to bring the two of you back together. I loved you since the beginning of time. We are from the same star. Love your twin flame. Wow. So, that's double confirmation that this person's your twin flame. Stay focused. You will be wealthy. I told you with that 888 being in your reading, um, you guys are going to be really wealthy. You guys have lots of money coming towards you. We wrote each other in our soul contract. Soulmate. Lifetime after lifetime. So this definitely is a soulmate you guys are dealing with. I'm so happy I found you. I'm going to ask you to marry me soon. Wow. Wow. This person's not joking about you, whoever they are. I want to travel to see you soon. Okay, so this is confirmation too with that chariot card and the eight of wands. This person wants to come to where you're at. So if they don't live where you live at, they will travel to see you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Your eyes are so dreamy. I knew it. This person stares at your pictures. I've seen it with that page of wands. They like to, like, look at your pictures. 444, doors are opening for you. I am obsessed with you. I knew it. I felt their energy when I was doing your reading, Gemini. This person's not going to let go of you. And if there's anybody else that has access to you, I don't care if it's a husband, a wife, whoever, they will fight and fight and fight till they get you. I keep sending you songs throughout the day on how I feel about you. So if you've been waking up and you just randomly hear a song that you don't even listen to or you're at the store and you hear some weird song, they've been sending you songs. Secret admirer around you. So you could have somebody who's crushing on you from your social media or at work. Love you and protecting you always spiritually. Love your sis. So this is for a specific couple of you or one of you. If you've lost a sister or a sister-in-law, um, this person's coming through and wants to tell you that they're protecting you from the other side and watching over you. <clears throat> I keep seeing you in my dreams. I wake up upset because we are apart. So this person hates it when they dream about you because they wake up and they realize that you're not there anymore. So if they've left you or you left them and you keep dreaming about this person, it's sad when you wake up and you realize they're no longer like in the house. Okay, these are some signs you could be dealing with. Capricorn, Libra, Libra, Capricorn. Sagittarius, Libra, Pisces, Pisces, Libra, Pisces. Wow. Lots of Pisces and Libra and Capricorn. Lots of, <laughs> like lots. I'm going to re-roll. 
Like, this is weird, though. Look at this. Capricorn. Capricorn. Libra, Libra, Pisces, Pisces, Libra. I'm going to re-roll these two. I just want to see... Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Virgo, Aries. So those could be some signs. And then here's your angel number. Eight, one, one. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Seven, seven, seven. So Google that number. And then Google eight, one, one, three. Because in numerology, there's no 12. So the one plus two is three. So Google 8113, and then Google that 777, and then we have the 888. So there's like huge synchronicities in this reading for you guys, Jim and I. Um, just email me if you want finances, love, whatever it is you want to know. Just email me, and I'll hook you up. Thank you so much for watching.